I, 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 what it is, Danny X. This is what I've been up to. I haven't posted in a couple weeks, so I just wanted to show y'all what I've been up to. Tapping into my roots right here. I was raised up doing concrete and block. The uh, the footing was already here, and, and it was decent for Arkansas footing. Uh, it got kind of high in the middle right there, so I had thin joints in the middle a little bit to get it even at the top. But look, you look down that top. That's flat right there. But they're gonna be building on top of this. It was uh, 32 by 54. And uh, so far I've done all this by myself without a helper or anything, so it took longer. I, I would have been farther by now in the couple days I've been working on it. But this is uh, how you do it right here. This is how I was taught. So I'll stand the block up like this, fat side on the out. Some people I've met, you know, masons that prefer their fat side on the inside and they'll grab it like that. But it, And I like to have my tops lined up so I can butter down two at once. You know, because a, a trowel will hold enough mud to get two with, with, with each slice. And a lot of masons will go one, two, one, two on each one. But instead of that, you can get two for one, you know. It helps you go a little bit quicker. So uh, this is how I like to set mine up. I, I go six in between my mud boards usually. And it's the same on scaffold too. Except for you always put the, the six. Um, you always do th three on one side and three on the other side of, of the scaffold leg that's supporting it. You never put the weight in the middle. You, you put the um, mud board in the middle of the scaffold. You know, so you can use this mud board for both sides of this corner right here. And uh, I'm about to make up mud and get this thing done. I'll show it to y'all done, but it's a process. It's hard work. I don't see why anyone would ever act like they know a uh, <coughs> block without doing it. Because <laughs> it's hard work. Take a look down this. And uh, they like all their stuff struck. When you strike it is where you take the tool and go in between the joints. When I used to do it, we always used to float everything, which is where you uh, uh, take it all perfectly flat and, and you take your sponge to it and you're, you're washing the wall pretty much. But <clears throat> when you get good at it, um, striking is a little bit quicker and easier than floating because float, floating is just a pain in the ass either way. So when the sun's hitting it at the, this angle right here, you can see the quality of the block. When the sun hits it at a certain angle, any flaw will pop out. But striking it does hide the flaws better than just uh, flat floating it. And here's down this side of it. And then it's gonna have piers in the middle. And this thing's gonna be ready for a house on top of it. And I'll show y'all that, and I'll show y'all that later. Thank you guys for rolling with me on the dark light. Step into Dan's world.